The following is a COVID-19 update statement by Minister for Health, Social Security and International Business, the Honourable Nicholas Steele. Fellow citizens, good day. As Grenada's Minister of Health, today, Friday 3rd, 2020, I announced that two more laboratory-confirmed cases of COVID-19 on mainland Grenada have been diagnosed. This brings our total confirmed cases of COVID-19 to 12. However, there are only 11 cases here on island, since one left. The first new individual is a 73-year-old male who had arrived in Grenada from the United Kingdom with his wife, who is one of the previously tested positive for the virus. The couple had sat within the six-foot radius of our first case on that March 16th UK flight. The husband became symptomatic on the 31st of March and was tested on April 1st. He has been quarantined since and his wife since his wife was tested and is being monitored closely. The second individual is a 70-year-old male taxi driver who had interacted with a previously diagnosed case before that case was tested. He was found on March 27th through contact tracing by health officials and placed under quarantine. He started exhibiting symptoms consistent with those of COVID-19 and was subsequently tested on April 1st. I want to reassure the healthcare official that, that healthcare officials have been aggressively engaged in contact tracing especially of individuals who arrived in Grenada during March 16th to 22nd. We have found that most of our cases so far arrived in Grenada or are linked to someone who arrived in Grenada during that period. The pattern is similar in several other countries throughout the region. Both cases announced today are stable and exhibiting mild to moderate symptoms. However, I must add that two of our previously announced cases are now in the ICU, having developed complications from pneumonia. They are in stable condition, though. In terms of testing, 45 people in total have been tested, 12 people have tested positive to date, and there are four results pending. All cases have been reported to the World Health Organization and the Pan American Health Organization. I have constantly stated that our healthcare team is sparing no effort in ascertaining the possibility of community spread here in the state of Grenada. Because while all cases so far have been imported or import related, several of those have had significant movement in the community. And we are following up with every possible contact we continue to rigorously enforce and enhance quarantine and isolation measures. Several entire households are presently under quarantine and the RGPF has increased their surveillance mechanisms to rigidly ensure that people are observing the rules. We are assured that all individuals currently under quarantine are being closely monitored and are fully compliant. I remind you that any individual who attempts to or breaches the Quarantine Act will be forcibly quarantined in public facilities, which we have already secured around the Tri-Island State. Furthermore, anyone who fails to comply is subject to a $10,000 fine and six months imprisonment. This includes anyone who visits someone who is under quarantine. Fellow citizens, public trust is crucial in our efforts to beat this disease. So is public cooperation. I cannot say it enough. The curfew is in place for a reason, to help us curb the spread of this deadly disease and save lives. While we have allowed limited grocery shopping and other access to services, we continue to see serious breaches of social distancing and the curfew in general. 
while law enforcement has been quite active and have made several arrests so far, the law breaking is enough to infect an entire nation and possibly cost lives. Every time you allow someone into your vehicle, every time you leave your house, every time you allow someone into your house, your life is in danger. Our lives are all in danger. Every time you stand in line at a grocery store and do not comply with the six-foot social distancing guideline, your life is in danger. Please remember, anyone can have and spread the disease, even if they do not have any visible symptoms. A significant percentage of people carrying the disease in the world do not show any symptoms, but they can still spread the disease. They can still kill you and, uh, and me. So the next time you crowd the lines at the grocery store, look at the guy in front of you. Look at the lady behind you. It is very likely or possible that one or both can have the disease and are in the process of transmitting it to you and others. It is also highly likely that you are the one with the disease but are not exhibiting symptoms and you can pass it on to others every time you expose or you are exposed to them. You might be responsible for taking someone's life. Think about that. Think about that the next time you break the curfew to get a drink or go out to get some potatoes. Fellow citizens, while health officials remain vigilant, we continue to ask you to work with us more specifically, to do your part to help to contain the spread of this deadly virus. We urge the public to report to or inform the Ministry of Health or nearest health facility of any individual displaying acute respiratory symptoms. If you believe you are exhibiting symptoms of the virus, do not leave your house. Do not take public transportation. Do not go into any hospital or medical facility. Call the health hotline at 538-4787 or 458-4787. As the Minister of Health, I am compelled once again to remind you that the entire population must continue to observe the practices and precautions necessary to contain the spread of COVID-19 here in the state of Grenada. A state of emergency is in place to safeguard the population. This is a public health safety emergency. Failure to comply with those measure, measures is potentially fatal to the general population and is being enforced to the fullest extent of the law. Please observe the curfew. Stay home unless there is a medical or food emergency. Stay home unless there is a medical or food emergency or you are an essential worker. Every time our men and women in uniform are called out to enforce social compliance, those who break the law are putting the lives of the armed forces and medical personnel at further risk. I again urge you to wash your hands frequently, practice proper cough and sneeze hygiene, do not touch your eyes, nose, or mouth with unclean hands. It is extremely critical that you also maintain social distancing of at least six feet. I cannot stress that enough. In recent days, due to the developing data on the virus, experts are increasingly urging everyone to wear masks when out in public. Masks and other personal protective equipment are constantly being sourced and provided to all frontline workers to limit their exposure to the virus. Make your mask at home if you have not received one. Use a handkerchief, cover your nose and mouth in any way possible when you leave the house. This will allow you to protect yourself and allow you to ensure that if perchance you are not one of those infected, 
or you are one of those infected, you will not infect others. I want to thank the frontline workers, including our medical and professionals and the Royal Grenada Police Force for their selfless service in helping to protect Grenada, Karakou, and Pitti Martinique from this deadly disease. I also must thank the artists and public figures and media personnel, private entities and volunteers who continue to lend their voices and their influence to help sensitize the population and help enforce compliance. I also want to thank the government and people of Cuba and the People's Republic of China for their assistance to date. I thank our citizens in the diaspora who are constantly sharing information from their respective cities around the world, especially areas hardest hit by the virus. They are sharing the information to help us see how deadly our actions can be if we do not comply with guidelines. I thank them for their service in helping to preserve the future of this nation. I also extend a hand in solidarity to all our diaspora citizens in areas hit by the virus and urge you to stay as safe as possible. In the same way that I remind our citizens here at home to do the same. Finally, I thank those of you who are complying with our guidelines, rules and regulations shared by authorities. You are our only hope of beating COVID-19. Help us to hold each other accountable. Help us to save your life. Help to save ours. Help your country to win the battle against this deadly virus. I thank you and may God bless us all. The preceding was a COVID-19 update statement by the Minister for Health, Social Security and International Business, the Honorable Nicholas Steele.